Now, North America, number one is biking. What is good? What is popping, everybody? This is a Guilty Gear Strive news update. Coming into June 1st, we got our Guilty Gear Strive developer's backyard, where they pretty much updated on the development of the game. I really like this because it gives us a lot of news and telling us how the direction of Guilty Gear Strive is going and where things are most likely headed for Guilty Gear Strive. Alright, first things first, first volume 6 1 update. Greetings from the development team of Art System Works. This is the beginning of our new project titled Developer's Backyard. Our goal is to create a conversation between us here at Arcus and Works and the players. We'll be responding to opinions we receive by sharing our development intent as well as new information about our plan going forward. Alright, so first things first, we got some statistics from the Guilty Gear Strive Closed Beta Test Survey. Now, I liked playing the game, I thought the game was pretty fun. However, there are some things they gotta tweak and work on to make the game a little bit better. Everyone's favorite fighting game. So I guess this is about their little part of the server when they ask me about their favorite fighters and stuff like that. Let's see what it's going to say, alright? So, 95% of survey participants answered that they've played Guilty Gear games before. And 54.1% answered that Guilty Gear is their favorite fighting game franchise. Okay, we're hoping that in addition to our Guilty Gear players, fans of other titles will also enjoy G GGST. Have you played a Guilty Gear game before? Over 95% of players probably played Guilds of Gear or touched it, but probably didn't dive deep into the game. I feel like that's what it was. I know at first, like, Exerve was doing okay. I think sale-wise, don't hold me to that. But the favorite fighting game, compared to other ones, ooh, 54% loves Guilds of Gear, which honestly, people that's going to do this survey are most likely Arc System Works fans. Don't sleep on that. Like... It is Art System Works game. That's like if soccer I did this for Smash, most people will probably say Smash. Okay, next is the most used character. Everyone's favorite anti-hero so bad guy takes the top spot as most used character during the closed beta test. I'm gonna be honest with you, Soul Combos, just like how he the his the new changes in the I think the Gatlin system was what they call it, was so easy to make sense because I've seen the trailer so much. Like it literally is like punch punch heavy punch or heavy slash and then do whatever you want right kai took a little bit more of a learning curve to get down because he didn't have the similar combo routes compared to so bad guy which honestly he not no characters really that difficult to play in my honest opinion and strive but for newcomers it's probably going to make your head spin because everybody doesn't have the universally same you know mechanics somewhat to where like dbfz heck even Eunice's smart steer it don't really work like that in Strive. May, I actually want to play May. Here's my ultimate hot take on fighting games. I want charge motions to die. I dislike charge inputs. It just, no game actively explains how to do charge motions. I don't understand, like, Street Fighter V, my favorite fighting game character, at least top five, would be Chung Li, right? But I can't play that character because I don't understand charge inputs. I never did. So I'm like, I'd rather not do it because I know I feel easy just hitting buttons in sixty session or linking them right and hit having a buffer or something that ain't really explained. If you're going to put charge characters in your game, explain how charge moves work. And that's why May, May probably would have been higher if she was probably easier to play. I'm just saying, for a lot of people. Alright, now here's the next big one. Who is the most requested character for Guilty Gear Strive? So... Let's see, the answer vary greatly between countries, so we'll share the results for each one. So number one for Japan, we got Bridget, so all you Bridget fans, you got it. Number two, Johnny. Number three, Ramothal. Number four, Dizzy. Number five, Order Soul. Six, Elfelt. Seven, Biken. Eight, Slayer. Ajimo Mito. And Jam Kuro Deberi. I always get her name wrong, so whatever. Now, interesting about Japan. Is Japan has some characters that I was like, all right, I'm with the Ramathal, I'm with the Bridget and the Johnny. I'm on that. Biking is surprisingly low in Japan. Now, North America, number one is Biking. All right, seriously, North America, Biking, number two, Johnny, three is Dizzy, four is Slayer, five is Aino, number six is Jam, number seven is Ramathal, eight is Sin Kisuke, 
Nine is Elfield and ten is Bridget. I'm call, always calling them Keyskin, by the way, because Kiss. I'm not doing that. That's not. That's lame. That makes all of them sound lame to me. I'm sorry. I'm calling them that. All right. Asia territories. Biking. Johnny. Dizzy. Jam. Ramlethal. I know. Flair. Elfit. Jacko and Testament. That's different. Cause I was like, oh, Testament's here. A lot of people have been asking for. Testament and send Testament this low in the like 10 spot. I, I feel that. I feel that. Now, Europe is probably gonna be crazy. Oh, I'm sorry. Number one, Biking. Number two, Johnny. Number three, Dizzy. So, expect the characters that are in top three to honestly make it into the game. I don't know about Japan's, but America's top three is literally the same as Asia and Europe's. I know Bridget most likely gonna make it into the game. I know Johnny probably will. Ramothal will be cool. I actually like Ramothal in Guilty Gear uh, Exert. She's probably the most appealing character to me for a person that only casually played Guilty Gear. Plus, she's black. 1.0, okay, so this is where they ask from one to five if it's very bad or if it's very good. So, ironically, with Guilty Gear Strive, a lot of people think it's above average that's pretty good with the battle system the character visuals literally what got me hooked because the character designs and excerpt to me they kind of like i don't really like super hardcore edgy care that's what i felt in excerpt in my honest opinion i'm not saying that's 100 accurate but y'all jump down my throats but some of the character designs were like mad like okay whatever they they completely stepped up with this game i like every character design i've seen Compared to any past Guilty Gear, that's not sprites. Or at least accent core, cool, I'll say that. Alright, so, this is where the developers step in. And this is where it gets crazy. Me, personally, I've been following the game since day one. So, in my mind, I know the game is not going to be like Exert. This is a whole different instance. However, there's something I'd like to share before that. The game is not intended to be a continuation of previous titles. The basis of our development is, is to create everything to be completely new. I hope you can keep that in mind as well. This is exactly the same thing that happened with BB Tag. Because Mori said it's not going to be like the standard Blaze Blue, and everybody compares it to Central Fiction. I understand you can criticize the game however the hell you want, but like some of y'all complaints literally go to the point, this not Central Fiction. That part blows me. I actually don't understand that. Like this is supposed to be a completely different thing they have to come out and change that finally finally they came out and confirmed it so y'all complaining about the game you just don't like the game just say you don't like the game but like complaining about characters and stuff like that we gotta see as time progresses because they wanted dbfz was looking like br water right and then when people learn how to do combo cancels and touch of death they gave it like a whole meal so chill out Alright, so another concern, the 3D camera movement disrupts the game pace. Uh, the more you play, the less you get sick by it. Like when I first started playing, I was like, I played it before the actual beta, I played it at Frosty's and I was like, oh, it's cool when you see it in person, but like if you don't play this game a lot, you're probably going to be thrown off about it. So there's that. I dislike the wrist gauge and the burst gauge being so small. Like, literally, they can extend it above or behind. It has enough space in this image to put it either behind it or top right. I don't know. Make it bigger or something. Or put it above the health bars, at least. Like, <laughs> it's so many different things they could do to make this better. However, they did improve it from what they had previous before the beta. Oh, Mission Shiwatar, regarding user interface in general, we see many comments that the design isn't rock enough. That's for sure. We will make it rock. He was like, look, everybody like, go back. Each retire is like, no, turn up. Okay, for the first volume of Developer Backyard, we focus on feedback from the Guilty Gear closed beta. We'll keep sharing comments directly from the developers, so we'll hope you'll stay tuned. Upcoming online events, 6-9, Summer of Gaming, 623, New Game Plus Expo. We'll be revealing new GGSC footage at these events, so be sure to check them out. We'll be taking the pieces of Crest of Deathly via the form below. Please be aware that we cannot answer questions about what characters will be, appear or be playable with GGST. <sighs> that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to fill out this developer's backyard opinion form. Subscribe if you want to see more Guilty Gear Strive content from your boy. And that being said, 
I am out. Follow me on Twitter at AvatarYayaTV. And remember, you guys are golden, and that is raw. Squaw! Peace!